Hello there. My name is Kenneth Carl Carl Kenneth McKenneth, motherfucker. And today, I'm going to be playing Night in the Woods, the most relatable game of all time. <laughs> See, the story revolves around a cat named May, a sassy girl who's rude and doesn't play by your rules. Just like me. She just moved back to her hometown and has to live with her parents, who are so absolutely annoying and May just does not click with them. You know, just like me. May has a collection of quirky friends that love and respect her even after she's been gone for so long. You know, just, just like me, I have friends. Your neighbors are such a bore. <laughs> just like mine. Fuck you, Travis. Our lead protagonist is such a funny... Just like me. Just like me. ...and relatable character. I'm a cat. In the game Night in the Woods, you play as a fucking bitch. But everybody else is a bitch to her too, so I, I guess I have to sympathize with her then. You walk around Toronto, Ontario in the hopes that someday something will actually happen. It doesn't. Uh, what's that? I'm getting word from Mission Control. They're informing me that Persona 5 has significantly dropped in price recently, so you should all go out and buy that instead of this fucking waste of time. You want to know the premise to Persona 5? You assemble your own ragtag group of thieves that go into people's minds and stop them from being assholes. That's fucking awesome! Oh god. In the game Night in the Woods, they prove how boring reality truly can be when your laptop breaks and you have to bring it to your friend's house in order to have him fix it for you. Uh, I had a joke for this, but uh, actually, the this one's pretty relatable. My computer's like a piece of shit, so if uh, this guy's able to fix it too, it sucks. I mean, I... I made that art, by the way. That's mine. Guys, subscribe to my Patreon, okay? In the game Night in the Woods, you find someone's severed arm. You all then proceed to eat the arm whole because it is nutritious and delicious. After they hunt down what's left of their prey, May and Funny Meme Bear go back to his house, and he tells us a little bit about life. Fixing computers is a lot like repairing organs inside Did you of a know human that being. all of our emotions, love, sadness, and happiness are really just chemicals inside life of our brain. Life truly is pointless, and yet we still try to chug along as Sometimes if there's I like meaning to, to it. The meaning that we create for ourselves is also a product of the chemicals so inside of our brain. In charge of us? My favorite or is have you ever tried to take the bottle cap the off of a bottle of without using a bottle opener? It's us really easy. Being. You can How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? A question that even Aristotle could not answer. You have an annoying wolf friend that's really loud! I don't really understand this character too much. I don't have a friend like that. Oh no. In the collection of ones and zeros you're witnessing right now, May suffers from crippling disassociative mental issues. Meaning she's a fucking bitch, but she has an excuse. In the game Silent Hill 2, James Sunderland has to deal with his crippling mental psychoses and disassociative nature brought about by the death of his wife, causing him to lash out at others, act violently in ways he doesn't intend for, and possibly even murder people. But this game's old as shit. Who the fuck would play this? Piece of shit. I'm mad now. In the game Silent Hill 3, you play as Heather Mason, a sassy teenage girl disassociative from her parents, who have to fight an evil cult, but on the inside, she's truly fighting her own inner demons and the fear that she doesn't know where her life is going or if it ever even began in the first place. Night in the Woods is actually one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, I've played this game so many times and I really just love it so much. It feels like such an original concept and the way it's presented is so interesting and involving. All the characters in it are so lovable and I never want any of them to ever get hurt despite all the terrible things that do eventually happen to them. And It's just such a wonderful experience and not a lot of people talk about it that much so I, I just try to get it out as much as possible and tell people how wonderful this game- OH MY GOD! In the game Night in the Woods, you can play a mini game called Demon Tower, which is infinitely a thousand times funner than the actual game. You play as an old withered cat called Pale Cat that starts out walking around with a cane and moves very slowly, but once you start dashing, it starts moving way faster, which is such a smart idea for a character design because in the beginning you think that you're all weak and withered, but then all of a sudden you can move faster, but the fact that they're still old shows that they're an underdog. Each enemy isn't anything too special at first, but as you descend through the levels, they evolve with more complex movesets that can easily get the jump on you if you're not careful. The environment you're in plays a big role in how you fight as well. At first, I was dashing straight into each enemy to wham on them until they died, but that technique quickly lost its effectiveness when they started rolling out the mages that dump half a lake of gasoline and then light a match. Then when you think you're getting used to the skeletons just taking two hits, a 
bam, they hit you with the armored guys. And at the end of each level, you have to fight some kind of boss, which has a different speed of attack and a different method of being taken down. Then you suddenly realize you're losing a piece of health with each level you go down, which immediately made me realize, oh. What happens when I get to the last level? I'm honestly astounded how much intrigue I got out of this simple minigame. I almost want them to expand it into a longer game with more mechanics. Maybe my overzealous appreciation is because I just feel so starved of anything fun after playing Night in the Woods, but Demon Tower has a lot more layers than you expect. Yeah! 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 This game is awesome! Yeah! Love this fucking game! 10 out of 10! 5 out of 5! Fuck you! Night in the Woods fucking sucks! I'm back! I'm back.